Hello, this is Model Fun, and you are watching the second part of P11C build. In this video, I will complete assembly, add metal gun barrels, finish wings, and prepare the model for painting. Ok, let's start! Here is where I finished first part of the build. It is dry now and I need to remove all excess glue and plastic from joints. Stabilizer's assembly is quite straightforward. All I have to take care of is not to use too much glue to, you know, keep the details out of it and nice and clean. Fuel tank comes together nice, but when I try to put it in place I can't fit it. I think the instruction is wrong here and actually I should have put it before I glue the cover. Well, I have to make small adjustment. This model has an option to put machine guns in the wings. In fact, only around 10 aircraft had this feature, but I will add it to my model as it looks very nice. The ammunition feeder as well as shells are photo etched, it's very nice detail. Machine guns in this model looks ok, but it may look even better with aftermarket gun barrels that I'm going to add.
test fit before I glue the wing and I see two spots where the parts do not fit good this is because of the pins inside I decided to remove them Yeah, that's better. This section under the wing is where bombs racks are. There are three options. Rack with one bomb, or two bombs, or no bombs at all. I choose no bombs. Because I removed the pins I need to be extra careful here with the position of parts against each other. The central part of the wings is just amazing, fits very well, just like that. These strange looking parts are shell launchers. They are meant to be assembled under the guns. But despite they have pins, there is no mark for it on the wing surface. I removed the pins and will try my best to position the parts correctly. I think this may work like that. One of the smallest photo etched parts in this set but makes very nice detail effect. The undercarriage assembly is quite straightforward. To support positioning it in correct angle, I have two photo etched parts that uh, needs to be assembled in the middle.
My final model uh, I plan to do with the open hatches on the sides, but for the painting phase I need to cover them to protect inside details. Uh, and here I use Vallejo liquid mask just to, as a temporary glue. This is first time I use this technique, let's see how it works. Some masking tape is also needed for some elements. Overall the fit in this model is very good, but there are still some gaps that needs to be filled with putty. I use the special putty that can be removed then with use of water. The windshield in this model is very small, but it's open and it will be visible from inside and outside. So. I use special masks to mars to put it both sides because I will be painting it. I clean the putty with use of cotton bat and water. The model is ready for primer paint. I use Hataka Silver Lacquer, the same I used for the interior. And the purpose of it is to reveal all imperfections on the surface and prepare a base for main paint. This way I see all spots that I need to correct. And this time I use Tamiya white putty, thinned with Tamiya glue. because it has water consistency uh, which helps to apply it precisely and save the surface details.
all lost panel lines have to be rescribed. I think it looks much better now. At this stage, model is ready for painting. I do not glue the wing in place just yet, because it will be easier to paint separately. This stage is done and I will paint the model in next episode. Subscribe if you like the build and to make sure you get notified and don't miss my next video. Thank you for watching.